What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Van Holtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. Hope all is going well on the other side of the Internet. I am in Las Vegas, actually, in the Flamingo Hotel. Uh, about to go out and grab some drinks, but wanted to first talk about a very important issue. And this one's actually kind of geared toward my dad, but I've been hearing a lot of rumblings about it around on uh, the Twitterverse and the YouTubes. But it's men and their beards go on gray or white or silver or salt and pepper or whatever heck color it's changing. And uh, my dad in particular is always pushing me to uh, carry beard dyes on our website because uh, I guess he's hit his, uh, his midlife crisis and he's not too fond of, of looking a little bit older. But I want to tell you that I'm really not fond of selling dyes on their website because I feel, I personally feel like um, it's a way for people to monetize on insecurities of, uh, of their own self-esteem. So they, they're catering and selling to people who are trying to hide something, trying to be something that they're not. And at Beard Brand, we are all about people embracing who they are, embracing the changes in themselves, and really owning it. And that confidence of owning your style and owning who you are and, and what you look like and how your beard changes over time is what's going to make you more handsome and attractive. So uh, silver beards are wizard beards. You know, you have hit the pinnacle of life. Like your silver beard is indicating that you are more experienced, more knowledgeable, you're more powerful, you're, you're wealthier than you've ever been in your, your entire life. You know, this is a very pinnacle part of your life and it's something that you should really embrace. In fact, uh, think about the 500 pound gorilla. You don't see him uh, monkeying around, going to the barbershop, be like, shave off my silver back because I want to look like a black back. No, no, it doesn't work that way. You know, it's a sign of being awesome. So uh, really embrace it. Now, if you are a little bit insecure about your beard, what I encourage you to do is not to dye it, but to really embrace your style, find your style, and put a commitment to uh, how you show the world. So what that means is, uh, of course, grooming your beard, taking care of your beard, maintaining it, but in addition to that, investing in uh, being more cognizant of your hairstyle, of uh, your wardrobe, what you're wearing, uh, the beauty with being a man is the classic styles that work for younger men also work for older men. So we're talking about um, suits and uh, button-up shirts and make sure all these fit well, they're tailored well, uh, wear nice accessories, nice ties. There's a lot of small touches you can do. Uh, something as simple as putting a pocket square in your jacket can really add a nice little pop. And we've got tons of inspiration on our blog. Of uh, We post it every day. We're posting photos of guys with silver beards and, and gray beards. So there's a lot of inspiration out there, how you can help uh, develop your style so that it fits you, so you're confident and comfortable. And you can own it, man, because you look beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, so keep on growing. Grow those silver beards, uh, salt and peppers. Embrace it. You've hit wizard style. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And beard on. Thank you.